Hey Cancer, how's it going? Happy Memorial Day to all of us that celebrate. I hope you're going to have an amazing week ahead. This is your June reading. So we are going to see what messages need to come out for you. Remember, it's not a personal reading, so it's never going to completely resonate. So do take everything that does resonate and always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus placement readings for additional clarity. We are coming to the end of the month. So I will be choosing randomly two people um, for the May giveaway. So for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. By doing so, you will be able to take part in the monthly giveaways that I do each and every month. Most of the time they are, um, they are personal readings, but around the holidays I have done monetary gift cards. So all you need to do is be a subscriber and leave that zodiac emoji down below in the description box, I'm sorry, in the comment section of each and every reading of mine um, that you do view in the next couple days until the end of May. And then around the 31st, pay attention to your notifications because I will be reaching out to those two people that I randomly choose. Once I get a response from the two people that are chosen, I will move on to the announcing the June giveaway. All right, for the month of June for my Cancerians. Rhino spirit overcoming any obstacle. So I do feel like you are, you are, there's going to be a sense of change in your life. I do feel you're finding that inner strength to overcome anything that feels like a delay in your life that it like may cause some kind of obstacle on your journey. I feel like you're coming into that energy of wanting to be playful during the month of June. But I just feel like your inner strength is soaring during this time. All right. For my Cancerians. Why? Card of 31. So we have four and five. You might be looking for answers to things in your life, like why did certain things turn out the way they did? Why wasn't this person interested in me? Hopefully not. Why was I not good enough for someone specifically? It's like nothing happens by coincidence. Everything happens because there's a reason it took place in your life. There's a reason that these things, these new things coming towards you with the five energy are about to happen in your life. Why certain lessons happened, whether they were good or difficult lessons to learn. And there is something coming towards you that it feels like an awakening, like you're waking up to a brand new life. All right, let's see what else we got. Definitely feeling like you guys are strong, stronger during the month of June. Stronger and more playful. And look, angel of love. Bringing in a connection. Bringing in additional love to your life. A card of 13, which is 4. So we have 49, which is obviously 13. 4, 4. And then we have 5. For that change. All right, let's see what's coming towards you. I did get a new deck. This is my summer deck. So, for those of you in the southern hemisphere, I do know you exist. I love when people say that to me. I'm covering a lot of people on YouTube. I know that you'll be in winter, but I am using my summer deck. Just trying to keep it new and fun. of the deck is a tower so remember you are embarking on something new and I do feel that inner strength to overcome an obstacle so you might have just recently gone through something that was a sudden upheaval that didn't turn out the way you anticipated this could be somebody walking out of your life 
to something that you weren't expecting. All right, your energy, the emperor. Look at that. Owning your own ground, knowing what you want, sitting on your throne and allowing who wants to be around you, what needs to be near you to come towards you. You're very being very strategic these days and very practical. But it's like you definitely know your worth. You definitely know what you have to offer. And you're feeling very confident. And I love that current situation, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you feel like you've been climbing up a mountain, overcoming those obstacles. You feel like the wounded warrior, but you're not going to give up. You're in that energy. Like I said, the rhino spirit, you're being very resilient and persistent. Eight of Cups. I do feel it, it. Either you walked away from someone or someone walked away from you. But remember, Eight of Cups is not just walking away from something. It's allowing you to move forward. Forward to something that's really meant for you. Past energy. Manifesting. That strength within you to manifest the life you truly want. I definitely feel you are emotionally grounded. Anything that has ended or was that sudden upheaval, that shake up, you've grown, grown stronger from it. And look at this. Temperance, healing, getting balance in your life. Being patient. For what is truly meant for you will arrive in that perfect timing. And what you're letting go of is the deception. Are things not feeling completely right? Anybody that might have done you wrong or said, you know, harmful things to you or hurtful things, I should say. You're walking away from broken promises. You know you deserve more. And what you're embracing I feel like somebody might be keeping an eye on you from afar. They could be a younger air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Remember, we also have Aries energy here or fire energy. Or it could be a fellow water sign. I feel like somebody's watching you from afar. All right, let's get clarity. take a leap of faith there is a brand new beginning coming towards you for the month of June yeah see any sadness you're walking away from this five of cups energy you could have been ghosted but some it's like something an ending of something has you feeling alone and now you're starting to look at the positive aspects of your life you're starting to allow that joy into your life that's the best energy to manifest in. Yeah, you've stand, you're stood, <laughs> I love this. You're standing your ground. You've set boundaries. You're protecting yourself. And I feel what you have needed to move on from has given you that added strength. You could be dealing even with an earth sign. Maybe I have Virgo, Leo, Scorpio. Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries, yeah, I feel like some of you may be dealing with an earth sign. I feel you're very protected, uh, protective of yourself these days. Like I said, you're being, being very practical. You're moving a little bit slower because you felt like it's been an uphill battle. But like I said, you're being persistent. 
you're moving towards wish fulfillment. What you've been manifesting, what you've been thinking about with your mind, what you feel in your heart and your soul that you're desiring, it is about to come to fruition. And look at this, the Four of Wands. Possibly a soulmate connection coming to your life. Added stability, added happiness, a sense of security. Doesn't always have to be about love. I mean, it doesn't always have to be about a relationship, a romantic relationship. This could be a friend. Someone that you're going to connect with on a soul level. It may be an earth sign, like I said. Yeah, you're there. you're starting to do right by yourself, and that's what's bringing in these blessings. But there is a connection of some sort coming into your life. Two of Wands moving forward. Big transformation here. You you see in this Cancer, big transformation. There is clarity coming to your life, an honest new beginning, and you're moving forward. I do feel like for some of you, it's in terms of love. Someone coming in wanting to sweep you off your feet. I gotta say, I think you're gonna, I feel you're gonna be open to it. We have bull. Do not back down from oppositions. Show strength and fortitude. So like I said, strength and fortitude with the rhino spirit. Feeling very strong during the month of June, Cancer. preserving and you will overcome problems exactly this is the wounded warrior being resilient being persistent if there hasn't been a sudden ending there may be in the month of june but remember you don't need to fear it because through that ending it's going to bring in a brand new offer it's one of success one that's going to be an honest beginning and it's going to increase your strength Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Amazing. And then paying attention to your health. Even if you're feeling sadness or you're feeling like somebody ghosted you or alone, pay attention to what your body's telling you. Get the ad the what sleep you need, what nutrition you need. Get grounded. Take that walk and allow yourself to get grounded. You're what comes first. You can't expect anybody else to love you the way you want to be loved until you do it to yourself first. All right, final message. And there's success. Moving towards success, whatever aspect where you're, you know, where you're struggling, where you feel like it's been an obstacle, an uphill battle, you're coming out on top. And like I said, I do see a soulmate connection here for you in the month of June. All right, we have B, I, O, G, W, P. Look for your initials, N, maybe even your full name, so you know that there's added messages in here for you that are meant for you. R, F, T, S, but look at these going, G, O, I, N, G. I feel like you're going forward. You're moving forward towards love. And I feel like somebody's watching you from afar. Yeah, I do really feel like for some of you it's an earth sign. We have earth, air, remember what I read off to you. All right. All right, Cancer, always let me know how it resonates. Leave that zodiac emoji just to get it in before the 30, 31st when I start choosing those two people. Let me know you're interested in the um, giveaway. Go ahead and subscribe for those of you that are new. I'm grateful that you're here. 
and I will follow this up with a specifically June love reading. So much love and light.